All right, hello everyone. This is Mr. Nerd Soul. I'm just doing a quick, real quick review. So I just got this program, and it's called IV Cam. So basically, it can it turns your, your cell phone into a web camera. Um, right now, I'm using it on my Galaxy uh, 850 by Samsung the entry point. Now the lighting is going to be, you know, a little like a little bright right now because of that. And then as you see, my normal web camera is over here and i've got the lut on and i've got a lut on using on this as well so i think it's pretty cool and i added a different webcam frame today let's see if i can brighten this just a little bit more all right and as you see um can be very useful for people that you know want like a dual camera setup you don't have something now it's probably best that you get like something that can go with your cell phone instead of like a tripod because right now i've got to sit it on a speaker so you can't exactly um maneuver it very well i should say but i've got it like literally resting in front of my computer on one of my center speakers and it's kind of messed up against the monitors and all that I'm using um, a lot that Nutty um, rated for a Panasonic G7 because it's close to it. I mean, it's a really good camera. And it's using the front facing camera, by the way. Um, I don't know if I'm going to switch it around how well it would look. Uh, it would look because the camera that's facing on the back of the phone is a higher pixel. Now, the one thing that I will say about this program that's not so great is, as you see in the top left corner, there is a watermark. Well, that's going to happen with the free version, and I think the paid version is like four ninety nine. So, I mean, either way, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's worth it. But, I mean, the fact of the matter is you can get this program on Windows, and then you get it on your phone, and you can connect it to your OBS as if, like I'm doing right now. So, stay... Um, you're one of those people that like to have a camera that's facing you, right? And I say you got something over here that you want people to see. You can switch right to it. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, for a free app on uh, Android, um, don't know if it's on iOS. I really don't. But I mean, overall, it's like it's really good. And as you see, it's it is quite bright on the um, computer. Like I said, because the lights right there because my ca my web camera is right here on top of the monitor and my cell phone's right here but i am using a lut on my web camera which i can show you the difference real fast this is with the lut on it's with the lut off the big difference and i'm using a lut on the camera the phone camera is off off on off on off on so it, it, it does create a big difference, like I said, because there's so much lighting right now. So I'm going to sit back. I'm not blocking out as much light. But see, I can't do a whole lot um, right there with the move of the camera and everything. So, I mean, if anything, I could change the gain up a little bit more on the web camera if I really wanted to. But I did that purposely because I want you all to mainly focus on me and not what's behind me versus you see on the, the phone camera, you can kind of see more of what's behind me. You can see my ceiling fan and all that good mess. Um, overall though, it's a really good app. I mean, I mean, it, it could be, you know, for something, you know, if people don't, you know, own a web camera or they don't have a very expensive, yes. Or if they don't have um, a, a very, um expensive camera because i mean most people use like dslrs and everything which in a way is um very good because they're like the next best thing for a web camera because they give really good quality for a lot of stuff the downside is they are kind of expensive but there are some that i have found that some use and you know go from there enough get a tripod and everything um, you can sit it like depending on how bad your desk space is. Get the tripod, get it up as high as you can to the end of your monitor, and face it towards you, and then you can sit there and look at it because some have like the little flip out thing to see how your image is, and you can just in there. And there are plenty of LUTs you can put on there as well. I mean, it's crazy what you can do. Now, 
Let's see, this is a little high on the white balance. I'll just leave the thing is because it looks pretty natural. Um, and the LUT, LUTs are basically called local tables. But like I said, the program, you can go and find it. It's on the Google Play Store. It's called IV Cam. Um, what I'll do is I will get the link and I will post it in the chat down below for y'all to download it for your computer. Uh, well, I mean, the trips below, not the chat. Sorry. Thinking of Twitch. Uh, speaking of which, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Sometimes a little later, depending. Um, tomorrow, I will be streaming because I canceled my stream today. So you can see me tomorrow at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Maybe a little later, but we'll see. And um, I haven't decided yet on the game. I do have something in my About Me section on my page where y'all can um, vote on it. So please go there and do it. It's twitch.tv slash mystic ninja soul. I hope to see y'all there um, sometime soon. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, guys. And hopefully I gave you something for a new option for, your web, for a web camera.